spattering or splattering a finish. Uh, there are many uses for this technique as far as uh, for instance in this particular project we're going to make some spattered variations over our stonework. Um, most instances you're going to have a vertical surface and the spatter mix is usually very watery so the main thing to concern yourself is spatters dripping down the wall which would be more like nicotine stains which is not exactly a desirable finish. Um, so it's just being careful, have maybe having a sponge handy, uh, testing. My preferred <laughs> spattering, splattering tool is a toothbrush. There are many other variations. One that spins on a little wheel with a little wire thing. It gets everywhere. It gets all over my face. Uh, this, um, a larger handheld scrub brush sometimes work, and, uh, but this is uh, my preference because it's manageable. I have a very watery mix of a glazing liquid a little bit of water and some raw umber. <laughs> Usually I will take, I've, I've loaded, which means I've put the glaze onto my toothbrush or my tool of splattering choices, and I'll take it somewhere and I'll de-splatify it. That's a Tish word. Before I even go to the wall because at first it just sends great big blobs. Then what I'm going to do is just gently flick it and randomly pull it across my surfaces, bring it to the surface, trying to isolate one stone at a time and keeping in mind the original drifting situation that you have. It doesn't have to be everywhere. And then when you do have an elongated dropping or a very large splattering, you can just soften it with your sponge. And yes, you get brown fingers but it is water-based. So there. Now, our stone really looks like stone. 